Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news about Chinese chip. China's 4 nanometers chips have begun mass production. China has ushered in this good news at the beginning of 2023, and it can be said that it has set off a big wave on the internet. However, as more and more people paid attention, the incident gradually fermented, and the facts also surfaced. Who would have thought that there is a world of difference between just two words? The truth of the matter is that China's strong packaging technology, which has always been ahead of the world, has now achieved mass production of 4 nanometers chips. It is a packaging technology not a production technology. As you all know, China's chip industry has been developing continuously in recent years, and its packaging technology has always been at the forefront of the world. In any case, it is finally a new technological breakthrough in China. After learning the facts, it is also a gratifying result for the people. So what are the differences between this emerging packaging mass production technology and production R&D technology? When the United States imposes a technological blockade on China, can the Chinese chip industry withstand the pressure and truly achieve new achievements that shock the world? When China's domestic chip companies announced the recent mass production of 4 nanometers chips with chip packaging technology, the American media Fortune magazine published an article, the U.S.'s imposition of technical restrictions on China's chips will do more good than harm to China. Over the years, China's domestic chip industry has made many new achievements in memory chips, radio frequency chips, analog chips, and mobile phone chips, and once replaced American chips and occupied a lot of market share. In contrast, Intel, the world's ace, suffered its first loss in more than 20 years. Nvidia's profit plummeted by 60%, and its market value was cut in half. The US chip industry, has laid off a large number of employees and reduced its production scale. At this time, the atmosphere of domestic public opinion presents a one-sided trend, and the Chinese people have great confidence in the domestic chip industry. However, under the guidance of such public opinion, many irrational voices appear, and even the media misled the public, so out of context headlines, such as China's 4 nanometers chip start mass production, appeared in an attempt to gain a round of attention by domestic netizens' high enthusiasm for the development of the domestic industry. But you must know that this is not the case. Packaging technology is not the same as production technology. There is only a two-character difference but there is still a long way to go in technological research. Although the domestic chip industry started late, it took advantage of the trend and gradually developed. Over the years, however, compared with the US chip industry, which started early and has a good industrial foundation, it is true that it still needs to improve its independent innovation capabilities and such false news headlines really seem to confuse the public, making us simply immerse ourselves in the success. In the joy, but ignored the gap with the opponent. Encapsulation is not production and is by no means equal to packaging. In China, it is Jiangjin technology that seizes industry opportunities and engages in chiplet packaging. Changjian is currently the largest in China and the third largest chip packaging and testing giant in the world. Its packaging technology is the XDFOI chiplet high-density multidimensional heterogeneous integration process, and it has achieved completely independent research, 
and development in technology, which is a rare technological breakthrough. Recently, JCET also released a new breakthrough in its own technology on the social platform, achieving a breakthrough in 4 nanometers chip packaging technology. You must know that packaging technology is by no means a simple packaging after the production of chips. In recent years, many industries have encountered obstacles in nanoscale packaging technology and the difficulty of technological breakthroughs has soared. When the packaging process almost touches the physical limit of the silicon material itself, it will have to pay a greater cost to continue shrinking the process. The new achievements made by JCET this time can be said to be better than the new progress made by other companies in the industry. Although it is not as difficult as producing chips, it is still gratifying. Of course, the word packaging cannot be compared with it. Up. However, why did this fake news cause such heated discussions as soon as it came out? You must know that although packaging technology can be said to be the last step in the process, it is not the most difficult. After all, even a small chip manufacturing country like Malaysia can package, and packaging technology has always been China's technical strength. If it is really possible self-produced 4 nanometers chips, the result is quite different. Because today's domestic chip manufacturing company TSMC, which is deeply supported by the United States, only stays in the manufacture of 5 nanometers chips and will lay out 3 nanometers in the next step, while the production of 4 nanometers chips is still a world-class technical problem. Under the upsurge of the small chip revolution, major companies are eagerly seeking new alternative technologies to avoid the fierce technical competition of semiconductor equipment. Focusing on small chips, they are seeking new technological breakthroughs. Today, 4 nanometers is still a technical problem. So we can imagine that if JCET can truly achieve a breakthrough in the production technology of 4 nanometers chips, it will have a huge impact on the global chip industry. Chinese chips survived the US blockade. In the past few years, China's chip industry has continued to develop, and the United States has gradually strengthened its technological blockade against China. China's chip industry is on a dead end. However, we found that in this technological competition, China did not back down from difficulties, but instead strengthened its independent innovation capabilities and survived adversity. Multinational technology groups, represented by South Korea, are also suppressed by the United States. And China's huge chip market, swaying in the temptation of interests. In this regard, many foreign media have said that the U.S.'s suppression of China's technology has actually promoted the barbaric growth of China's technology. In recent years, in addition to the outstanding performance of 4 nanometers packaging, China's chip industry has also won the top spot in many global competitions and won many world firsts. For the core high-end technology, China is in the middle and lower reaches, and it is time to contract the production of parts with cheap labor. In the technology blockade of the United States, China's vigorous independent research and development has enabled the chip industry to show unique advantages in China's quantum computing, artificial intelligence, aerospace and many other fields, and has promoted the all-round improvement of China's technological level. Even though the United States once had advanced chip manufacturing technology, and China has always had a massive chip market, Qualcomm once customized exclusive chips for China. 
However, the United States blocked China and did not supply chips to China. On the contrary, it stimulated the development of China's chip manufacturing industry and restricted American chip manufacturers from earning huge profits in China. Who did the United States block by doing this? With the stimulation of China's huge market and the strong support of the state, Chinese chip manufacturers believe that they will achieve impressive results in the near future. Although the news this time is just groundless, it does not make everyone happy. The packaging technology of 4 nanometers chips is indeed another new breakthrough in the history of Chinese chip technology, and it is also a new breakthrough in the history of US imperialism. Under this, it is a side performance of China's continuous improvement of independent innovation capabilities. But it also reminds us that while achieving such fruitful results, we should not underestimate the scientific and technological strength of other countries. Only by recognizing the opponent and focusing on our own scientific research can we achieve long-term victory. So, can the new achievements of JCET this round further enhance the international status of Chinese chips? Facing the ever-rising Chinese chip industry, how will the United States launch a new offensive? Welcome to leave a message below to share.